Hello, today I want to do a pattern that's uh, my own, but uh, I've already actually done a little bit of the work in advance, so this one's going to go kind of quick. So um, yeah, let's do this. Hello and welcome, this is Kevin, also known as AWOL. And as you can see, I have already put in the underlying strings, so um, this is going to go a lot quicker, guys. Um, let me start off by showing you what I did. I started with green, then the blue, and the purple. So I'm assuming that there is going to be like six strings going into the kumi, 12 strings coming down. So you've got two reds, two orange, two yellows, two greens, two blues, and two purples. And they're all just kind of like you got the two greens. They're just going straight across. They get to the other end and they come just straight back. Right. So this is essentially just using our first two knots. The ones that go to the right. Well, yeah. And the ones that go to the left. That's it. So what makes, what are we doing here? This, this is essentially... I'm going to put in a little diamond, a little square there of the reds and then put in these. Then there's a little square there of orange and then I put in these blues. And as you can tell, this is starting out to be um, a kind of pattern that's there's not a lot of like insane you know zigzags or anything else it's really pretty straightforward and it's a sort of I want to say it's kind of a fun pattern to do because um, it sort of will make sense as you're making it especially if you realize what is happening here with these colors so um give me a second here and i will zoom out so we can see that but first let me just do one more so part of my reasoning for wanting to do this pattern is because all the strings of the cold colors are one side and the hot colors are on the other side and there's a whole trick to doing that if you're making the bracelets with the loop the way I do, especially like you do kumis and stuff like that. Um, so I want to be able to show that in a video. And I needed a pattern to work with. And I thought, wow, this would be really cool. So check this out. The red is going over the green. And the orange is going over the blue. And the yellow is going over the purple. And then the green is going over the red. The blue is going over the orange. So... If you know your colors well, you know that on the opposite side of the color wheel, it, from green is red, and you know, vice versa. Blue, it's orange, and with purple, it's yellow. So it's that's going to be your like cue as you're bringing in, like say, the purples. You know, okay, the opposite of the purple is the yellow, and so you'll know when to make those little diamonds and. Um, like I said, it's a it's a pretty easy pattern to uh, follow along. See the yellow will come down until it gets to the purple, and then the purple will go over the top, like that. So yeah, it's a pretty simple pattern. Um, I've done this a few times. Is this similar to uh, when we did the candy one, fancy candy? Remember that? That was a cool video. Um, so it's quite similar to that, just instead of having um, like a straight row down the center, this actually makes like these little squares, which um, it turns out pretty cool. I've actually, I've made this before, um, but I never shared the pattern, you know, like anywhere. So uh, here's a chance where the whole pattern will be available over my website, akawall.com. Um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments, and um, yeah, I'll be sure to answer. And then, um, yeah, if you guys uh, like this video, if you got something from it, please do leave a like, um, maybe leave me a comment, and um, 
again as always i want to thank my patreon supporters who make these videos possible couldn't do it without them so um if you want to join it's uh, aka awol forward slash patreon and um yeah that'd be cool and then um as always don't get your strings in a bunch <laughs>